protective left. The road is pretty busy right now. It's very hard braking. Seems unsure of itself. Should be good to go. Yo, what's going on guys? Connor James here, back at you guys again with another full self-drive beta video. Right now we're gonna be driving from Crash Boat Beach to Borican Beach. I do apologize if I'm saying that incorrectly, but we're going to a really beautiful beach with ruins, uh, this like tower thing that you can go out and look out from, uh, and just really, really awesome beach. And the waves today are huge, so hopefully we'll get a little bit of that on the other camera here on the GoPro. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So I'm just going to put it in drive here. I already have the map kind of pulled up and ready to go. So I'm going to do the initial kind of turn out. I'm hoping that there's going to be enough lines for me to engage it. Looks like it's temporarily unavailable. Let's see. There we go. So it wanted to see like a glimpse of a line or I don't know if the autopilot computer is like restarting or something weird. Um, really confident going up this hill. It's not really the case going down it. It's kind of breaking really hard. Going into the oncoming lane here. Not very good. <laughs> Quick thing. If you do see this blue steering wheel icon that means that the car is actually driving i ha do have to keep my hand here just in case it decides to do some weird turn that i don't want it to i can jerk on the wheel and it will disengage uh, and i also have to kind of pull on the wheel a little bit here you can see me jiggling it <laughs> um, to let it know that i'm paying attention and, and my hands here and i'm ready to take over if i need to um, but when you see that symbol that means the car is doing all of the accelerating decelerating, braking, steering, all that stuff. Uh, so, really interested to see what's gonna happen here once we get up to this uh, turn, this left turn. We're turning onto a pretty busy road. Um, it's even kind of hard for me to do sometimes. I have to kind of just turn out and block a lane of traffic and then, then go in. The other lane isn't so busy. So we'll have to see how busy it is and what Full self drive is going to do. It's doing a much better job though. This is full self drive beta 10.5. I noticed 10.4 and 10.5 are a lot better at kind of driving on the right side of the road uh, when there's no lines. Um, as you can see, it doesn't avoid potholes or, <laughs> or grates or anything. So um, that's unfortunate, but. Let's see what it wants to do here. So I'm just gonna keep my foot over the brake. It is kind of nerve wracking to let it kind of decide what to do. There's a car coming to the left. Off to the right, there is no one. So looks like we're gonna be good to go after this white car that's passing right now. And the car goes. So I'm not tapping the accelerator. It's really good. Uh, a lot of my unprotected left turns, it's kind of wanted me to uh, tap the accelerator to let it know that it's okay to go. Um, but yeah, so really good left turn, especially with it being unprotected without a light or anything. And we have another one as we come up to the airport. Got night mode, screen just switching. just saw this kind of flashed blue that was just because my hand was on the wheel but I wasn't putting enough pressure like the car didn't know that I was kind of uh, holding the steering wheel so I wanted to make sure I was still paying attention that will like start to flash uh, faster and then start beeping uh, and eventually just like just come to a complete stop and put the four ways on if I am, am no longer nagging the steering wheel uh, but also I, I've mentioned this before as well there is a cabin camera uh, that is up here, right above the mirror, that's actually like monitoring me uh, now as well. Um, when I first got the full self-drive beta, I was so excited and I was, I was just holding my phone up to my chest with it recording. And I was still like keeping one hand on the wheel, all that and driving safe. Um, but the car could see that I was holding my phone, at least I assume. And it, it just kept dinging at me and like disengaging, turning itself off. 
and it kind of like put me in timeout, wouldn't let me use full self drive for the rest of the, <laughs> the drive because it thought I was like texting, just wanting it to drive around while I didn't pay attention. Um, so it's kind of interesting now that that camera is in use, especially because Elon has previously said like, oh no, we're just gonna use like the nag of the steering wheel. Um, we're not gonna have to use the camera. I am just decelerating a little bit because it gets down to one lane. Um, that's one thing that you'll notice. Um, if you're from Puerto Rico, I'm sure you're, you're used to it. Um, but compared to in the States, there's a lot of times where it goes from two lanes down to one and there's no sign that says anything. Um, and when you're in the, the States, there's like so many warnings that that's happening. It's like 900 yards or half a mile, whatever, one mile, it's going down to one lane, half a mile, it's going down to one lane. Like it, it keeps reminding you that this lane ends, merge over here. There's no, no sign or anything. Um, or at least I haven't seen too many of them. down for this truck. I'm just gonna quickly double check. Okay. Some pedestrians over here off to the right, which you can see are being a little cautious. You can see one of them on the screen, the other one was not. I do have to test some four-way intersections with pedestrians and other cars and see kind of how the the car itself will negotiate like when it's its turn and and when pedestrians are walking when it's their turn that sort of thing says it's 25 they're going like 40 or faster I'm feeling this is not accurate it's phantom braking there I don't know what's going on so we're coming up to this left turn that we need to make hopefully the map is correct sometimes the map data is, is not too accurate here, or Google Maps just routes routes to the right pin, but the, it goes takes the wrong road there, and then there's like no parking lot. So I want to see. It looks like it's going to be the correct road, which is good. The giant Emirates plane over here at the airport, which is interesting. I have to see what sort of areas they service to this airport, which is BQM. So we're going to be turning left right here. There's another unprotected left. The road is pretty busy right now. So very hard braking. Seems unsure of itself. Should be good to go. Just got to be a little bit more aggressive. There we go. Perfect. So this road also has no lines. Um, it's much narrower than the last one. So we'll see kind of what the car decides to do. Right now, this does not seem like it's going to going to, to handle this situation correctly. This car that I'm coming up with, coming up to, it's probably going to be nervous. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Departing lane. So that was like, that chime was actually the car afraid I was going to like drive off the road. Once again, kind of driving in the middle. I'm being careful and looking ahead to make sure that there's no one coming. This, this, this is one of those things. I'm going to actually report this. That's what that button's for. That it seems like the car with map data should know that this is a two lane road. And also with the cameras, it seems like it should be able to kind of like, since there's no line, uh, take the width of the road and divide it by two, right? And then kind of just stay in the middle of that, that section. Which here again, I'm going to disengage it just because I don't really want to freak anyone out. Uh, I'm going to try to 
re-engage it here in a second, but it's a pretty steep hill. Looks like two pedestrians, they both show up on the screen. Just kind of tried to force it to stay over a little bit. So now that the road's a little bit wider, it's doing a little bit better job, but there we go. So it seems like when it's really narrow, it gets confused. But once the road opens up, it does a little bit better job. Coming into this, <laughs> I got very confused. The map is off to the right. <laughs> I thought it was going a little fast to take this turn. I'm gonna pull down here just to get a little clip of the waves for you guys. Hopefully I can pull right up. I actually like parked my car here one day and just got completely sprayed by the ocean, which is pretty wild. It's like very big waves today. I'm just gonna go here. Some people just pull up right here. Get a little glimpse. So all in all, pretty good drive. I don't know what happened at the end. <laughs> Got very confused. Man, this really washed out it's right ahead of me. This was not like this last time I was here. But yeah, did a pretty good job. Just got very confused at the end with the, the road, really narrow road with no lines. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you enjoy the waves kind of crashing here at the end. Let me know what you think about this video. Leave a comment down below. Definitely smash the thumbs up if you like this style video. I'm gonna be perfecting it as I make more and more and I'll try to make more content that you guys are interested in. So if you did enjoy it, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more. Um, but that is it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.